Hello everybody and welcome to the iFunny Trucks and Series Race 16 Chase Race number one from Daytona International Speedway. In row one we have Cocaine and Joseph Penn. In row two we have Stephen Dunlap and Mason. In row three we have the 05 of Andrew Gerzek and the 17 of Funny Postings Daily. In row 4, we have the 3 of Justin Bayou and the 76 of Phantom AIOI. In row 5, we have the 56 of Michael Waltrip and the 7 of Everything Left Turns. In row 6, we have the 43 and the 03. Both Fords. In row 7, we have the 25 of Dick Trickle and the 14 of Lord Tonyface. In row 8 is the 9 of Patrick Smith and the 89 of Wrestling is Fake. In row 9 is the 45 of Grizzly Gang and the 18 of Lucas Brack. In row 10 we have the 77 of Dan Weldon and the 13 of Sean Kennedy. In row 11 is the 19 of Gene Hopkins and the 09 of Tony S14. In row 12 is the 11 of 60 mate and the 22 of Let's Go Racing. In row 13 is the 6 of Jeff Gordon Mustache and the 51 of Carlos Scott. In row 14 is the 55 of Jack Porkins and the 23 of Trey Awesome. And rounding out the field in row 15 is the 15 of Casey Kane and the 90 of Adam Nuggets. Cocaine on poles starting alongside the 52 of Joseph Penn. The first time they've been on the front row together. Green flag back in the air here at Daytona. Cocaine got a huge jump going into turn one. They're side by side too wide. 52 did not get a great start. He is about two or three truck lengths back from the 08. Side by side as they head into turn three is the 08 and the 06. Still side by side coming off of turn four. What a great battle for the lead here on lap one. 08 still out front. Now the 05 is looking inside. Three wide for second place there. The 52, the 08, and the 05 all there. Now the 08 is trapped in the middle and he is falling back. 14 as well in that middle. Probably not going to advance his position that way. The 05 heads up and he will get stuck in the middle now as the three of Justin Bayou goes below him. Three wide racing in about the sixth row. The chase drivers are in the trucks with the pink splitters and spoilers and roof numbers and side skirts and pink everything. Once again, three drivers will be eliminated at the end of this race. So now the 56 of Michael Waltrip is making a run for the lead. He has the 25 of Dick Trickle pushing him. And the 18 right behind him. Can't tell if that's the 18 or if that is the 45. And that is the 45 of Grizzly Gang. And the 56 of Michael Waltrip still out front. Followed by Dick Trickle in the 25. Patrick Smith in the 9 trying to make a run up the top. Dick Trickle goes up and blocks him. Now the 56 looks like he's going to get trapped in the middle. No, he does not. He goes down. And now he comes back up the track. He'll be in that high lane as the 45 of Grizzly Gang will now be below him. Two wide racing for almost all of the pack here. The 77, 77, Dan Weldon right behind the 45. 45 gets shuffled towards the middle and he will begin dropping back. 56 comes down and blocks the 77. Oh, and the 25 of Dick Trickle got squeezed out. So he'll be up in the wall, it looks like. He'll be Drew losing lots of positions. In case you can't tell, it has been like four months since I've commentated anything. I'm a little rusty. 
Ah, oh, I've never been that good at commentating anyways. Now the 90, he started in dead last and he is already up to third. Along with 60 mate up there, he started in row 12. Adam Nuggets now working the bottom of that 89 truck. Six behind him. Getting a big shove. Oh, couple trucks into the wall back there. They all sorted out. Looks like the 7 and the 87 are both below the double yellow line. Lots of guys below the, da the double yellow line. Try saying double yellow line 20 times fast. I couldn't even say it twice. 18 of Lucas Brack now up there. He has not been really much of a front runner this season. But he's up there in the top five. The 15 of Casey Kane now ducks out. The 87, one of the newer guys in the series of Mason. He is going up there. He's blocking the 76 of Phantom AIOI. The 14 of Lord Tony Face right behind that group. Fields mostly spread out in a single file. A little bit of pack racing here. Oh, and the 90 gets shoved up out of his line, and now the 6 will go ahead and take the lead. The 15 looks like he'll be coming to the 90's rescue, and there's some dirt on the track. Some dust flying up there. Now the 18 of Lucas Brack getting pushed by the 55 of Jack Porkins, who got in based on points, not on wins, so... He's going to get shoved out. The 06 of Stephen Dunlap is now getting pushed by the 87 of Mason. Starting to form a little bit of two wide racing here. If they can get any more people up in that high lane, it can certainly become a factor. Now the 06 will step up. Gets in front of the 55. Now the 18 gets up in front of the 06, and now the 87 is going to go ahead and challenge for the lead with the 14 and the 19 pushing him. The 18 of Lucas Brack did win, or he didn't win, but he won the battle for leading that lap. I don't know why I couldn't string words together for that. Look at this, three wide racing here between the 90, the 76, and the 18. Lots of three wide racing there. The 56 makes it four wide below the double yellow. Can he get back up onto the track? The 43 might let him in, and he does. A lot of guys underneath that double yellow. Certainly interesting. Oh, the 23. He was below the double. Ooh, and the 56 makes contact with him. Lots and lots of contact through there. Not sure how they made it through that. Now they have all strung themselves out and they have formed about a second pack. That first pack's leading by about a second until that uh, probably 12th place truck of 60 mate. 19 riding the wall thinks that's the fastest way around. Gene Hopkins finally getting his first win at Darlington. Even if he had finished last at Darlington, he still would have been in the chase on points. Now the 14 of Lord Tony Face is leading in the 7. He's now up at the front. Another one of the back markers. Most of the season, he's showing some muscle here at Daytona. A lot of these back markers are starting to show some muscle towards the end of the season. Some of these guys really wanted to get into the chase, but unfortunately they missed it. Just a couple of bad races did not let them in. But the 14, the 7, and the 90 all working together as the 90 goes up and blocks the 15 of Casey Kane. And now the 14 and the 7 both go up there, leaving the 89 on the bottom, and the 14 comes down and blocks that 89 of wrestling is fake who's getting pushed by the 87 of Mason and the 45 of Grizzly Gang. It looks like the 11 has found his way back to that lead pack. That second pack is about three... about three seconds back. 
See three wide there with the 90 on the top. 15, he keeps getting into the middle. The 90 does. He's going to get shuffled towards the back of that lead pack. There you see the second pack. They're starting to gain a little bit more formation. Trying to catch this lead pack. It is three wide for second, fifth, 18, 79th place. I don't know what I just said. Uh, this is why you don't take breaks from commentating. This is why you don't p take breaks at all. Because you completely lose the touch of it. Now the 11 of 60 mate getting pushed by the 3 of Justin Bayou as they head off of turn 4. The 19 also up top. 3 will go up and block that 19. They're now working lap 13 here at Daytona. 55 of Jack Porkins, another one of those drivers on points who got in on points. The 89 right behind him also got in on points. Both of their best finishes were third. Now the 11 of 68 is leading that top line. The 55 and the... What number is that? The 06? They both looked like they were going to go up, but just the 55 went up. The 06 stayed on the bottom and is now blocking that 17 truck of... Funny postings daily. Now the 43 of Swindle Deception. Another one of those back markers making a run towards the lead here. Oh, we got contact. The 15 goes around. The 13 as well. Under caution here for the first time at Daytona lap 14. Looks like the 15 just got up too high, got into the wall and down into the 13. Sean Kennedy just a helpless victim there. Casey Kane and Sean Kennedy both get it sorted out. We are under caution here. Stephen Dunlap, now your leader, followed by the 55 of Jack Porkins. A couple of these guys towards the back of the pack. They need to hurry up and get towards the front if they want to stay in the chase. The 25, the 22, and the 09 all in trouble right here of not making it to the next round. Sorry, the 77, the 22, and the 25. Those three, if they don't get up and go, they will be left. Restart. Lap 18. Stephen Dunlap in the 06 leads them. 55 of Jack Porkins in the 17. Now following him, the 11 comes down in front of the number three truck. As they head into turn two. First six cars, single file, everybody else double file behind them. Lots of two wide racing action here at Daytona. Stephen Dunlap leads him into turns three and four, followed by the 17 of Funny Postings Daily, and the 51, another one of those back markers. Very intense racing here. See the 51 now blocking the three truck. 06 comes down and blocks the 43. Almost didn't make it, and he will actually get shuffled out. Of the lead, the 43 will now assume the position. He's followed by the 18 of Lucas Brack. He could have a chance to win this as well as, well, pretty much anybody here. <laughs> 23 of Trey Awesome. Another one of those guys own the 18, gets shuffled three wide into the middle. That's not going to work out for him. Final lap here at Daytona. One truck out of the line that looks to be the 52 of Joseph Penn. He'll get back onto the track. Now the 90 of Adam Nuggets leading them down the back stretch. The 14 there as well. 
two non-chase drivers as they head into turn three. The 23 is looking high. He's going to get shuffled back. The 05 as well. A lot of these guys do not have chase wins. There's a wreck in the back. We don't care about that. We care about the battle for the lead. The 05, the 90, and the 14. Who's going to get there? The 90 of Adam Nuggets got there. There you see him on the cooldown lap. Take a look, coming off of turn four. He's got the 05 behind him. And he barely makes it to the checkered flag in another close finish here in the iFunny Trucks and Series. There you see how close it is. Half of a nose, the 90 beats out the 05. What an incredible finish, the 14 there as well. Take a look at what happened in turn three. 51 just got rammed into the wall and ooh, 05 of cocaine. There we see a couple of those chase drivers. Ooh, big damage between the six and the 09. I think they won't even make it to the next round. They are two of the three drivers that did not finish high enough. See the 17 there involved as well. 87 comes in screaming hot. Gets it woed down. Lots of heavy contact there. The 90 of Adam Nuggets has won here at Daytona. He is not a chase driver so that means there will be one non-winning chase driver if that makes sense in the final race at Homestead the drivers eliminated the 55 of Jack Borkins the 6 of Stephen Dunlap and the 09 of Tony S14 that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching and as always have a great day